Alright guys, how are you doing today? Welcome to week four of training one on one. It's the final session for most of you, so I'm not going to see me anymore, I'm sorry. Um, Alright, so today it's a pretty basic session. We're going to go through some things, kind of dry things. First off, we have the lovely Lynn Pearson, Assistant Director of Community Service, come talk to you guys. Where they donate 
$10,000 to a local organization. So I spent most of the spring and then the following fall raising all that money um, from Wing Fest, from House Party Weekend, and also uh, Rig Field Day. So they donate. And this year the recipient is Laura, which is the Lewisburg Area Recreation Authority. They're changing their name a little bit. That $10,000 will help them open the pool this summer and create a lot of new programs. So even though not all of you are, will be on IFC, you'll be part of the community that's donating that money. That's very helpful the particular organizations. Do any of you have any questions? Community service is going to be part of your responsibilities or expectations as a member. Some organizations, you're required to do four hours a semester, so you're required to do 15. So each individual organization has a little bit different expectation. So you'll find out during the process how that will affect you. Go ahead. Um, so I just want to tell you guys a few things that we do. Um, we do a lot of blank committing, as you can see, most of the, a lot of photos were blank committing. It's really popular. We do it so many, it's really, really easy to get hours done for those guys who want to get some hours done. Um, uh, yeah. The more important stuff, though, is when we, we also do baking in the store, etc., the craft center. Um, the more important stuff, though, is that when we have a um, uh, we did thaw out this, um, this past, what was the past few weeks? Uh, we did thaw out, we went out to uh, help uh, fix up this garden, this uh, Mariah's garden. Um, and that was like really good because like when said, we don't always have the best reputation with the Lewisburg area. Um, so it's good when we go out there and you know wear our letters and like show them that we can do good things instead of just trashing them down. Um, also, we went to uh, Dreamcatcher Farm, which is about five minutes away. It's this couple, Joe and Jackie, they run this farm. And um, we did like squeeze a couple of wells, like really fun to go out there, help them like we did a uh, like mulch an area and then Jackie gave us like cider and like cookies and stuff. It's a really good experience. And um, this, is, this is the kind of stuff that's really important too when you're going through rush, like you start thinking about um, you know, if you want to like ask about like certain service stuff that a certain attorney that you're at, um, what they do, if they get out of the community and get involved. It's really important. So that's all I got. Questions, guys? Cool. All right. So, here we should cover all the basic things that you guys need to know financials, housing, academics, and general recruitment. First off, financials. Um, Barney went and all, all attorneys have their different financial dues. Everyone has their dues, their dining plan, and a lot of them, most of them actually, have initiation fees. So that's the type of thing you're going to want to talk to your brothers about when you're going around meeting them, asking those questions. Ask them, what are your dues? What's the initiation fee? How much dining dues cost? So you're going to want to ask those questions when you get the chance. Housing. You all see the houses on campus, you know what they look like. It's expected that you be living in the houses on campus. If there's a vacant spot in the house, you'd be required to fill it. If not a vacant spot, you don't fill it, obviously, but make sure you know that going in. Academics. To rush, you need a 2.25 GPA. 2.5 <coughs> GPA. That's going into rush. So if you don't have it now, you have about a month left to work on those academics. Once you're in a fraternity, then you need to just hold a 2.25 GPA to make sure you're not put on academic probation by the school. Because if you are on academic probation, you either be asked to A, leave the house, and B, not be recognized, not participate with events like the chapter until you get your grades back up. Now, crew in general. Who went to Go Greek Fest last night? Yeah, okay, we got a couple. I like it. So, if you didn't, it's too bad. I had a lot of fun. I the guys went and had a lot of fun. It's all free food. Now, another way to do that, meet new people. We have Wing Fest coming up on Tuesday, so make sure you try and go out to that. But general recruitment, formal recruitment in the fall will be $25. We'll be getting more emails from me. I know you guys love those. Coming up in August, so don't worry about that. I'll answer all your questions then. And now I just want to show you, these are all recruitment chairs.
for each fraternity. If you have any interest in particular fraternities, these are the guys you're going to want to contact. They'll be able to answer all your questions, anything you need to know. They should have all your answers. So now, thinking back a little bit on what Lynn was talking about, about how they see you, everyone sees you with the letters on. We're going to show you this video. <laughs>
What else? Yeah. It's like a personal challenge. Yeah, definitely. Every time you do something, you got to think about it. If you want to be the one showing your letters and helping out the community, or you want to be the one that's doing nothing. So you got to think about it. Who else? Yeah. Oh, you make a mistake, it's not like such a you can also do it Yeah. It's a small <coughs> campus. Let's be honest. Three thousand, a little over 3,000 people. People know what fraternity you're in. Everything you do has an impact on that fraternity. If you're out on the campus, you're like, look at that. Look at that guy in that fraternity doing something good, helping out. All right. So after watching the video, we have a couple of seniors I brought in. They've been around. They've been around for three years, some maybe more. And uh, they're going to talk to you about what they've been doing in their experiences. So first up, we have Pat Selvis. I would say bar none, Greek men are the most scrutinized group 
of individuals on this campus. So, you know, little hiccups here and there for achievements um, really do speak loudly. So just be careful of the choices that you make. And, um, you know, fall back on your brothers. Reach out to the leadership on your executive boards, and they'll guide you in another direction. And finally, the last tip I want to leave to you guys is when going through rush, going through recruitment, um, it's very easy to go along with the friend group that you come in with. And maybe not give certain fraternities a chance. Maybe because you're rolling around with a group of six or eight guys, and, and you, know, you know, maybe they, they don't like that particular fraternity, but maybe you met a couple of guys who might have changed your initial opinion of that fraternity. So stick around. Be an individual once you go through rush, because you never know. I mean, Mark's going to tell you a little bit story later about his own personal experience where um, and, and you may be very surprised where you end up. If you look at the friends that you have now, it's, it's great. You'll, hopefully you'll keep those friends, but keep an open mind because once rush comes around, it's very easy to fall into that swamp of, yeah, I'm just going to go where my friends are going to go, or you know, I challenge you guys to look at yourself individually. Look at the values of the fraternities that you're looking at and really ask yourself, is this the right place for me? Is this where I want to spend the next three years of my life growing, connecting with other individuals, and just hanging out? Um, you know, focus on that. Focus on yourself. Don't focus on the group of your friends. So, that's all I got. Uh, <laughs> all right, next up, Mark Galeosko. Hey guys, how's it going? I'm Mark. Uh, I'm the senior chemical engineer with Pat, uh, and I'm in chi uh, So Pat talks pretty, like, generally, it's always tough to follow the ex-president, but I'll try my best. Um, he talked pretty generally, so I kind of want to get into more specifics of my story and my experiences, and then hopefully give you guys some advice based on that. Uh, so one of the things Pat mentioned is, um, a group of friends that you have right now, they might be going around for recruitment with next semester. Um, I lived in a quad freshman year, and it was really tight with that group of guys. So the four of us basically went through a rush together, um, kind of stuck together as a little unit, and went around all opportunities to our, our rounds. But uh, it turned out, we thought going into it that we were similar, we were all really good friends, so we just figured we'd all end up in the same fraternity somewhere. But it turns out that all four of us ended up joining completely different fraternities. Um, and those guys I'm still very friendly with, uh, but they just aren't my best friends anymore. So it's okay um, to have a group of friends right now, and maybe you think that you want to join all the same fraternity, but you really have to go through this process as an individual and make the decision on your own for yourself and do what's best for you rather than trying to stick with a group. Um, and then once you're in a fraternity, uh, I think the most important thing is to put in whatever you are going to get out what you put into it. So for me, I really wanted to get involved uh, internally. So that was more externally is and IFC and all that, uh, I focused more internally. And so I was our new member educator and also our recruitment chair. So as new member educator and recruitment chair, it was kind of similar roles. Uh, so basically organizing events, getting people to go to things, and motivating people to, to want to participate in the events that, that I planned. So I highly recommend taking a role either within your fraternity or on IFC, it really helps with like real life experiences of getting people to do things who really, really don't want to do things. Uh, one of the things, for example, Special Olympics, we Kai Fi hosted a Special Olympics event from 8 to noon today, so all the brothers were up and at them at 7, 7.30, and down in the, in the pool area for that at 8 a.m. So it's a, it's a long morning, but it's an incredibly rewarding experience to see all of those um, just smiling faces on the parents and those kids. Uh, it's really moving. So, <coughs> seriously, get involved. And 
I'll leave you with the one piece of advice I feel is the best piece of advice I have received going through Rush. It's the one thing that I tell every new member that I meet. Um, and that is, as you're going through Rush, you're going through recruitment, and you're meeting all these people, you got to seriously think about, can I sit down and eat three meals a day with this group of guys? Will I be able to sit here, feel comfortable, and feel at home, and through breakfast, lunch, and dinner every day for the next three years? And if you're sitting at a fraternity and you have that feeling of, yeah, this is where I want to be for the next three years, that's where you know you want to be.
definitely listen to uh, that video. It's, you know, great advice. And you guys have some great advice. So listen to the people who've gone through it. And um, don't be worried if you don't know where you're going until the end of Rush. It's a complicated uh, experience. And uh, don't feel like you have to go now. You'll, you'll have, have a little bit next year. And, uh, I chose all these guys for a reason. I know they all have good things to say, so I really hope you take what they said to heart and really think about it in the future. All right, guys, that's the end of week four. Uh, it's been a fun journey. I'm going to leave you with my phone number. I got you. You can all take it out, take it down, write it out, do whatever you want to. But, really, yeah, no. But, um, please. Feel free to contact me. If you have any questions, problems, concerns, anything at all, going through rough, you should to call somebody if you're confused. Please feel free to contact me. I'm there for you, anything you need. Okay, but, I'm going to leave you with Wing Fest, Tuesday night, 5 to 8. I really hope to see you guys out there. Grow with some more guys. For those of you that didn't raise your hand before when I asked if you were at Grow Green Fest. So please come out to that. It'll be a great time. Uh, it's been fun, guys. I've been away from from Maine for a while. So, sorry about that. And uh, have a good day, guys. Thanks for coming.